At the moment, it's the Division 1 title holders, Dublin, who hold the advantage. You won't change on the Dublin team positional. Rhino Dwyer has come out from full forward out to centre forward. So, you know, Dublin have a very strong half forward line now of David Tracy, Rhino Dwyer and Liam Rush. And, uh, you know, that's that's their, their strongest line and they'll be expecting to win ball there. And uh, Alan McCrabb will drift out the field and they'll, they'll revert to a two-man full forward line, which is their... Uh, which has really been their traditional way of playing under Anthony Daly. So Gavin O'Mahony, the 24-year-old wing-back from Limerick, takes this free. He's hit it with everything he had. It looks good. Superbly taken by Gavin O'Mahony. He hit uh, eight points against Dublin two years ago in the championship. That's his first of the day. And the perfect start for Limerick. Yeah, they're back to win four points, and that's the start they wanted. And Gavin O'Mahony has been very reliable on long frees, and uh, it's a bit of a surprise to me that Brian Geary started on them today because, you know, a couple of years ago, Gavin O'Mahony really was the man that won the match for Limerick here against Dublin. Wayne McNamara just getting a touch on that. Ball works its way into the arms of Declan Hannan. Hannan off his left hand side, he struck it sweetly. Inspirational stuff from Declan Hannan. Yeah, that's the score of the game so far, or the point of the game so far, Mike. See his first touch, it's a slippy, greasy ball, but he comes in beautiful first touch into his hand, up along the old stand side and off his, uh, which may be his weaker left side. From looking at that, he doesn't have a weak side, but a great point, most very impressive player. Seven points now for the man playing in just his third championship match, and Limerick, the comeback is well underway, and that's a foul on Kevin Downs, who didn't like that ch challenge one bit from Peter Kelly. The full forward looks pumped up for the second half and Limerick have started with the bit between their teeth. Yeah, clear free by Peter Kelly in the back of Kevin Downs there and, you know, Downs reacting, he's shown a little bit of inexperience and Niall Moore was quickly in to calm him down a bit because, you know, he has a free in, it's in an easy position and uh, Declan Hannan will put this over the bar and, and Limerick right back to within two points of, uh, of Dublin and, and only two, two and a half minutes gone in the second half so uh, absolutely fantastic start for Limerick and you know, certainly Anthony Daly won't be happy with, with, with the start and, and certainly they're conceding a lot of ball. So once more, Declan Hannan steps into the spotlight. He'll be playing under-21 hurling uh, next week along with Kevin Downs and Graham Mulcahy in the Munster Championship. Right now, though, his focus locked in on this All-Ireland quarter-final and that is eight points. The gap is back to two. Limerick have hit the last seven scores in the match. And Dublin really struggling just to get that second wind. Yeah, you know, a sharp puck out to Paul Schutt, who's been playing very well, incidentally, for Dublin. But, you know, he's trying a very difficult ball down the sideline to, to David Tracy. Even if David Tracy does control it, and it's going to be very hard to control it with the greasy su surface, he's, he's got a difficulty. Car Paul Schutt would be better off just lash that in more directly. Sideline cut from Wayne McNamara. Last touched the hurl of uh, David Tracy. In fact, the linesman overruled by the referee, Brian Gavin. Yeah, I think Graham Mulcahy actually fouled David Tracy there. David Tracy, has he looks fit and, and uh, he looks eager. He's, he's been a guy that's really been plagued with injury since he did his cruciate last year. You know, came back and then pulled a hamstring and it's, it's, it's been difficult for him. He's been, he is one of the most promising players in Dublin and uh, he's a guy that really they, they need at, at, at his best for Dublin to be at their best. 18 minutes now since Dublin's last score in this match. That uh, first half hat-trick from Ryan O'Dwyer still keeping them tipping along in front. But they've brought Paul Ryan out to have a look at this. He's just inside the Dublin half. Smacks it down towards the town end and it sneaks over the bar. Five points for Paul Ryan. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a po point that Dublin needed and a very, very difficult free from right, under, right here under the old stand maybe 70 metres, 75 metres out on the sideline and uh, you know that's the, the beauty of Paul Ryan, an outstanding free taker. Dublin restore that three-point cushion, Joey Boland, his attempted clearance blocked down by Declan Hannan. Boland back to gather possession again and this time takes no chances, looking for Ryan O'Dwyer who's been tailed as always by Seamus Hickey, flicks it outside as far as Paul Brown. Brown trying to hold off Liam Rush, making an angle for himself, but uh, just ran out of road, and that is Limerick's fifth wide. Yeah, Liam Rush did very, very well, kept the pressure on uh, Paul Brown there, and, and you know forced him to hit it wide. Before that, he saw a great block down by Declan Hannan, 
who's been really out Limerick's outstanding player. Gary Maguire with that uh, gentle breeze at his back. Puck out finds Alan McCrabb, dropping it in towards Paul Ryan. Watched all the way by Nicky Quaid, son of the late uh, Tommy Quaid, who also kept goal for Limerick, and cleared away by Gavin O'Mahony. Man who manoeuvred himself out in front there was Sean Tobin. Trying to get away from Corcoran. But the shot a little ambitious. And the wides in this second half just beginning to clock up a little. Limerick shooting from uh, a little bit outside their range. Yeah, Sean Tobin did really well to catch the ball and win the ball, but again, a bad wide. Poor puck out from Gary Maguire. Again, he went short. Tobin once more fails to make it count and Gary Maguire gets a second chance to clear his lines knocks it out towards the middle this time first to react to the break was Wayne McNamara but I think you've said it once or twice already Nicky but Dublin taking chances back around their own goal that they really don't need to be taking yeah and I think both teams have been doing it really you know Seamus Hickey actually started it at the very first ball he got he ran across his own goals and ultimately Brian Geary did the same to try and pass it and, and it cost them a goal but like Dublin there was no need of Gary Maguire actually giving that sharp puck out there he needed to just pump it down the field but they got away with it they weren't punished Johnny Tobin has missed two chances and Paul Brown missed a chance and you know that's Limerick need to be taking these chances as well so once more Gavin O'Mahony sizing up the target wide again this is a good spell in terms of possession and chances for Limerick but after starting this second half very impressively just not pushing home that territorial advantage yeah wides like that can can break your momentum and Limerick had great momentum and they've just hit four wides in a row and even two of them would have been a good uh, and a free in here on from Gavin O'Mahony here pulling on on Liam Roach Dublin uh, getting ready to make a change, but that was a fairly wild swing by Gavin O'Mahony on uh, Liam Rush. Brian Gavin, by the looks of things, about to hand out the third yellow card of the game. O'Mahony joins Wayne McNamara and David Maloney now in that little black book. Yeah, and Gavin O'Mahony really had no chance of hitting that ball. Rush was protecting the ball very, very well, and that was that's his second time doing that. Rush has caught two balls, and, and Gavin O'Mahony has just had, had a swing at it for anyway, so... But that's his second time and uh, rightfully gets the yellow card. So Paul Ryan will have to Dublin, wait Dublin a moment Jewish before he takes this free. 30, Anthony Daly is making that change. He's bringing in uh, number 20, Simon Lambert. Lambert. And interestingly, Nicky, Alan McCrabb, the player coming out. Yeah, well, Alan McCrabb did very, very well in the first half. And he was at, at centre forward and, and playing a rolling, roving role on Brian Geary. But since Geary has gone off, you know, they've had to, to bring Ryan O'Dwyer out centre forward. Paul Ryan nails the free. That's six points now for the Dublin free taker. It keeps Dublin four points in front. And Simon Lambert, who started the Leinster final against Kilkenny, is into the match as the sun breaks through the clouds here in Thurles. It's uh, beginning to clear up after a very poor start to the day, weather-wise, raining here. Uh, in Thurless all morning as Niall Corcoran holds on tight, drives his way out and clears his lines out towards Liam Rush, jumping with uh, Gavin O'Mahony. Ball won by Morris O'Brien initially, but he lost it in the tackle. All very scrappy, but Paul Brown it is who gets it up into his hands, leaves it behind. And eventually, Mickey Carton Brings it clear, but under serious pressure. Succeeds only in carrying it out over the line. Yep. The pressure on the ball carrier out around the middle of the field. Intense, to say the least. Lots of pressure on, on all the players there, and, you know, Rook's developing. It's, it's still a little bit greasy underfoot, and you can see players having problems in getting the ball up. A couple of Limerick guys got into each other's way there. Paul Brown and uh, Gavin O'Mahony really got in each other's way. But it's... it's, it's the game is in a funny, just funny place just now. There's just four points in it, and uh, just neither team really on top. Possession back with Dublin. This is Niall Corcoran. Flicks it outside as far as Paul shoot, and shoot looks for that full forward line as Dublin go direct this time. But covering across was Tom Condon. Does well to flick it outside. 
This is Wayne McNamara. Chased by Dotsie O'Callaghan. Good challenge and met by David Tracy. Hit uh, McNamara with a good old-fashioned shoulder there. And Tracy in to win the break. Surrounded by three Limerick men. And Brian Gavin eventually blows his whistle. Well, Anthony Daly is pucking every ball. I think Tom Condon could be in a bit of trouble here because he's, he's already, I think... Uh, is he on a yellow? No, he's not on a yellow card. It's uh, actually David Maloney, his other cornerback, that's on a yellow card. But he's uh, he's been uh, he was come in with the elbow there, and really again, no need of it. You know, you see David Tracy has actually lost the ball, and it's going to be a line ball for for Limerick. You know, they, they, they've cleared the ball, and uh, Tom Condon comes in late, and uh, a chance for Paul Ryan. It's a very difficult free for most mortals, but for Paul Ryan, this is a it's again meat and drink for him, I think. Tom Condon there just throwing himself at David Tracy and he becomes the fourth Limerick defender to be booked. All of them now walking a very thin line as Paul Ryan stands over this one. Very methodical approach. The Limerick crowd encouraging him to get on with it. Ryan, it had plenty of distance all right but it's tailed away to the right. That's his second wide. It remains a four-point game. And all of a sudden now, with uh, 25 minutes to go, you can just feel the pressure beginning to build. Yeah, on, on both sides, the game right in the, rightly in the balance. You know, a free miss by Paul Ryan. You know, neither side has scored for a while. Limerick have had four wides. And the game being played around the middle of the field here and, and no, nobody really taken ownership of it. That, incidentally, was uh, just Dublin's second wide as well. They have been very efficient and economical. David O'Callaghan made the initial burst. Now Liam Rush, blocked away by Tom Condon. He's a real tenacious cornerback. Driving out with that ball. Leaving uh, Johnny McCaffrey in his wake and still going. Nobody moving into position close to the goal. Condon, a real long bursting run. And in the end, he just ran out of steam. Nobody there in support. And that attack peters out. It's a long way back though, to that full back line for Tom Condon as the cavalry arrive to put the pressure on David Tracy. Tracy slips it through into the space in front of uh, Paul Ryan. Well, the Dublin forward line has lost its shape completely at the moment, but they have the ball. David O'Callaghan, he's got uh, company in the shape of Paul Brown, manages to get that ball across. 